What is going on everyone? It's Brody back again to answer another question about tennis strings. And that's gonna be, do my tennis strings actually become unusable or go dead if I don't use them or if I don't play with them? And I'll tell you, depending on the type of string, that's gonna change the answer. So with polyester strings, those ones being the hardest, they will typically tend to last the longest in the racket without being used because they because with them being a harder string it's a lot easier for them to maintain tension because they don't necessarily get as affected by the elements whether it be the weather the just the sunlight in general or just any other factors that may be getting onto the strings it's a lot harder for polyester strings to succumb to that so they tend to last longer even if you don't play with them. I will say, however, though, whether it's a polyester string, it's a multi-filament string, it's a natural gut, it's a synthetic gut, over time, no matter what you do, especially if, play, if you are a returning player and you've let your rackets be sitting in the garage for years or maybe even a decade, I don't know. But if you've done that and you really haven't played with them, you should probably get them restrung because there's they are most likely dead. They're not going to feel great and they're just going to hurt your arm as you go through and you begin playing with it again. You usually want to get your racket restrung at least once a year if you are not playing that often because whether you leave your rackets in the house, in the car, in the garage, wherever you are, or if you just leave them outside, those strings are going to get affected by the weather. It's not going to end well. If you go if you go and play with strings that are, have not been restrung or have just been left out for a long time, there's a high chance that you could irritate your arm getting tennis elbow, and that's not something that we want to happen. That's not fun for anyone. So you always want to make sure that your strings are up to date and fresh. They do not have to. You do not have to get them restrung as soon as you play with them, but I will say if you've gone more than at least six months to a year without getting a restring, it is time for you to get a new set. You don't want anything else in this sport to potentially be causing you problems, whether it be physically or just anywhere else. So your strings are one of the most important things, but at times they're also probably the most overlooked part of the actual tennis game. Now, I talked a bit about polyesters. I will say natural gut strings, these strings are the hardest to maintain because of how susceptible they are to everything. If you leave natural gut out in the cold, you're gonna ruin it. If you leave natural gut out in the rain, you've ruined it. If you leave natural gut out anywhere and it's not in like a basically room temperature room at all times, you, you can play with it in different climates, but if you just store it somewhere that isn't like regular room temperature, you're gonna ruin it. And then you're gonna be out 40 to sometimes $60 on a natural gut set. No one likes that, it's not fun, so just don't do it. Natural gut, you don't necessarily need unless there are a few certain instances like you have the money, you don't care, you just want it. Or if you have, if you have to have the most soft and most easy on your arm string, natural gut would be the way to go. However, it's extremely hard to take care of. So it's kind of the catch 22. It's like, it's amazing for what it needs to do, but it's awful for trying to keep it alive. You have to restring it a lot more just because of how many different things can go wrong with it. If you want a little bit of an easier maintenance, I'll say string then natural gut, then that's when you want to look towards a multi-filament string. The multi-filament strings, they do very well. They're just kind of like the cheaper version of natural gut. That's not a knock on multi-filament. It just makes softer strings more available to us players who do not want to or do not have the budget to go spend on natural gut strings every time we get restrung. Because a lot of people, some of them are even stringing two to three times every three weeks. And if you do that, if you do that math on a natural gut pack, say you get it strung once a week for $50. If you do that over long enough times, it's just a not a pretty number. 
So that's where multi-filaments come in. They're pretty great in terms of keeping our arms safe as well as they do tend to hold tension a, a bit better than natural gut because they aren't as susceptible to the weather or anything, but they, don't, they are not as soft. They're not as easy on the arm. They are just kind of the in-between. And then synthetic guts, those ones, uh, you probably, if you have strings in your racket that you haven't used for a while, so there's a high chance I'll say that it might actually be synthetic gut strings that are in your racket. So synthetic gut strings, they don't really do much. They just go into the racket so you can see what's going on, see how you play with the racket, see what the racket does for you. They do tend to get, I'll say, tight a lot faster, whether it be cold or hot or whatever, especially if they aren't used. So I would say, especially with synthetic guts, you might be able to get away with using them the first time back around just so you can remember how to play tennis if you've come back after a long time being gone. Overall though, play with it once, see what's, hap see what's happening, get it restrung. And that way you can get a new fresh set. It'll work a lot better for you. The people that you're working with probably have a better idea of what can help you based off what you've set, what you've talked with them about and what you want to do with the racket. And you can get a fresh new set so you're all ready to go. Now, with that being said, if you liked the video, leave a like on it, comment down below any more questions or concerns you may have so that I can get back to you and answer any questions. Subscribe to the channel so we can grow this channel and get more of this information out to the people who need it. There was a lot of misinformation going around in the tennis community, so I took it upon myself to make this channel and to make sure that we get the information from the people who have it to the people who need it, rather than just let someone say something that they think is right when it actually could be harmful to everyone else. So with that being said, like the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you got any value from this, share this video with a friend if you think that they are wanting to get back into tennis or you guys played many years ago and you want them to get back in. And as always, take care.